everybody talks about the heat transfer test between real silver and fake silver. I think I feel a difference, but I want to verify that I'm actually feeling the difference. So I took two similar spoons that were the same size, but one of them is real silver. This is sterling. And the other one is fake. You can see at the top of the spoon, it's actually worn off and there's no sterling marking. Fake may be a harsh term. We'll just call it silver plated. So if I take two ice cubes and set one on each spoon and then with my hand feel it, I should be able to feel that one is getting colder faster. But when I try it, I touch it and I think the silver one's colder, but I'm not sure. I also ran another experiment where I put ice on two sets of spoons. The one on the right is the real silver and the one on the left is the plated. The ice almost seems like it melts at the same rate. And when I look at it with a thermal camera, it's very difficult to distinguish one from the other. That's when I decided to use a thermostat on each spoon side by side. Now that I have both spoons almost exactly the same temperature at 68 degrees, I'm gonna drop an ice cube on it. So the spoon on the right is the sterling silver spoon and the spoon on the left is silver plate. So what we're looking at right now is real time. I don't have the camera sped up. I'm just gonna leave it here so you can watch the initial drop and then after it drops about 10 degrees then we'll check it with a thermal camera and then i'll speed up the film so you can watch the ice melt all the way and see which spoon will melt the ice cube all the way faster well it has not been long at all and you can see that the temperature has already dropped a difference of five or six degrees after about three minutes, there'll be about nine or 10 degree difference between the silver plate and the silver spoon. Now I've got to say that when I put ice on these two spoons and I feel it, initially I don't feel much of a difference. Now if I'm eating a hot bowl of soup and I've got a silver spoon and I've got a silver plate spoon, the silver spoon will almost burn my lip. So I feel that sensing heat through sterling silver is a lot easier than sensing the cold. If we look at the thermometer right now, we have about a seven degree difference between the sterling silver and the silver plate. The sterling silver is definitely getting a lot colder faster. Right now, visually, if I take a look at the two ice cubes, I can't see any difference in size, but at the end, you'll see which one has a smaller ice cube. As you can imagine, the silver has the smaller ice cube. Now, it's also important to remember that sterling silver is not actually pure silver. It's 92.5% silver, and then there'll be some other alloys like copper. If you ever see a spoon marked coin, that means coin silver which means it was melted down from U.S. currency. Coin silver has just a little less silver content than sterling silver. It has 90% silver and 10% copper. Right now we're getting pretty close to the three minute mark and we're about nine degrees difference. The silver is about nine degrees colder than the plated one. And through the entire meltdown of the ice cube, it's about nine degrees difference. When I look through a thermal camera, you really can't see a distinguishing mark over the silver and the plate. I thought I might see more blue going down the handle of the silver spoon. Now we'll take a look at the ice cube melting with the camera sped up. You won't actually see the difference of the ice cube until the very end. 
So now I don't have to think, is the silver spoon colder or not? The instrument is telling me it is colder. Now, if we look at the spoons, they look like they're both filled with water. But if we get in there with a fork, we'll be able to see how much ice is in both spoons. Clearly, you can see that there's more ice in the plated spoon because the silver spoon melted the ice faster. So if you did want to test your sterling silver to see if it was real, you could do something like this. You can see that the test results are actually closer than you might think. And if you're like me, you won't be able to tell the difference just by feeling it. For me, if I was gonna test it with temperature differences, I think I would just get a bowl of soup and try it that way. So can you tell if your spoon is real silver with an ice cube? Yes, you can if you're really observant. Well, I appreciate your time. And thanks for watching.